Welcome everyone, this is Quentin from Wicked Journey and today we are at Knott's Merry Farm, opening day. So here we're gonna have a look around, probably have some food, some treats, join some friends, and then just have a jolly good old time. Today is November 18th, 2022. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get into at Knott's Merry Farm. Okay, we're headed out to the uh, Gingerbread Lane where they have sweets, treats, surprises, and gifts. And here we go, and then I see Whittles down the way. There's some of the decorations here. Look really nice. And this looks like it might be uh, where Whittles hangs out, right here. So Whittles took a break today. And down at the end of Gingerbread Lane, you have an area here where you can get some food and some drink. And uh, there's no line here right now. So if you're looking for stuff like that, then you might want to come here and get some of your things. All right, we just noticed the turkey bites with the gravy. It's not on the meal plan. There's no symbol there. Same with the uh, mistletoe meatloaf footlong hot dog. So that one's $14 and the Brussels sprouts or the uh, turkey bites are $12. And here are some of the other booths here. And then here you can get your kettle corn. And then here you get the uh, Christmas story, Santa Whittles. Right here, looks like it's a game. And then here you got uh, Verse Jewelry. And right here is a stand where you can get your beef jerky, uh, some nuts. Over here. We have more of the crafts booths here at Ghost Town. It's on a lot of the Christmas stuff. Then here we have the ornaments. In case you guys are looking for something new for the tree. Get an Berry Farm uh, ornament. And here we have the woodcarver. It's not in there right now, but he will. But look at all this stuff. Really nice. All right, and so we are headed into Santa's cabin. This is Santa's cabin. Oh, look who I found. It's a Crash Zero. <laughs> he really is a Superman, isn't he? Almost <laughs> Go DC, go DC. Right? It's about to, pretty much. Very nice. Hi, guys. <laughs> and then going out of Saturn's cabin, I'm going to go ahead and get some food. So this is one of the food booths here. We're gonna go start with the turkey bites and the Brussels sprouts. All right, we are at Knott's Mary Farm and we are gonna try our first meal of the day because I'm hungry and haven't had breakfast. But I do that in order so I can eat maximum foodage, if that's a word. Okay. Anyway, this is the uh, turkey bites with the uh, Brussels sprouts and there's some gravy. We're gonna go ahead and try it out and see what it tastes like, so. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna try it without the gravy first. I love these, these are really good. It's nicely seasoned, you can taste the stuffing in there. Got a little bit of the turkey, there's some cranberry. This is basically a Thanksgiving dinner in a little ball, in a deep fried ball. Very good. 
I just try with the gravy. Yeah. Gravy. Where's gravy? Wow. Definitely can get it with the gravy, but I would put it on the side because that way it gives you an option whether you want it dry or you can just dunk it. It is very good, very good taste. I give this a five out of five cues. Next up, let's try the Brussels sprouts. So it looks like... Brussels sprouts are okay. They're not fresh. They've been sitting around, but they're still edible. I give these a, a three out of five cues. I think if they're fresh, hot, I'd probably raise it up to a five, only because I, I love Brussels sprouts, believe it or not. Salt them up a little bit, tastes really good. All right, till the next review. All right, next item we got. We've got the Jingle Jungle Juice. It's uh, a hard cider with uh, cranberry, and they actually have little cranberries in there. So let's take a try and see what it tastes like. It doesn't really seem to blend too well, expecting probably a little bit sweeter. So it kind of has more like a like a beer taste than like the an actual cider. Let me try it again. It's not what I expected, but it's almost like a beer with uh, cranberries hanging from it. So this isn't bad. I'm gonna give it a four cues out of five. And the only reason is it wasn't what I expected, but it does taste good. And well, it's alcohol. What do you want? That's, that's never gonna go down below three cues in, in my book. So, but it's not bad. And it's over here by Santa's cabin and it was about it's about sixteen dollars but for some reason they charged me fourteen. Guess I got lucky. So I can't guarantee you guys will get that price, so don't quote me on that one. Alright guys, off to the next off to the next review. Those turkey bites are really good. Those are classic. I mean, I highly recommend those. You know, to me it's worth like the twelve dollars. The Brussels sprouts, they're usually they're pretty good. I'm shocked. Um, I didn't have a good time with that. It was subpar. But uh, you know, I tried eating it through the rest of the way, and then nothing. It just it just didn't hit me good. So, but the turkey bites are really good. I recommend those. Uh, you do get a discount if you use your uh, season pass, so it works really well. We're gonna try the holiday horchata and see what it tastes like here at the cantina. We got a, another alcoholic drink. This is the uh, holiday horchata that you can get at the cantina. It runs about $16. Look at the size of this thing. And thankfully, I was with Crash and uh, he actually got it for me. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. You guys, the last time we met up, you got my drink. Hey, sir. See you, Chuck. Take it, Chuck. Oh, that's what that I, is. I think he's calling everybody out here. <laughs> anyway, let's take a drink here. God, that's so good. You get the horchata, the cinnamon, and uh, we think the alcohol might be rum. I don't. It doesn't seem like it's vodka. Vodka would have like uh, no taste to it. This one does. So. We think it's rum and horchata, which is a great combination. So I'm going to give this a five cues out of five. This is really good, guys. So, all right, you can get this at the cantina. And uh, I think it's probably going to be my drink of choice uh, every time I come here to Mary Farm. So. All right, we're waiting in line and we're going to see uh, Snoopy's Night Before Christmas. It's an ice skating show here at the Walter Knott Theater. 
<laughs> All right, guys, I just saw the uh, new Snoopy on Ice show, and I've never been, but I must say, this was fabulous. The, the musical scores, the, the skating, how they presented everything was great. I mean, it was fantastic. They even had Dove that flew in from the top coming down, and then there was a rogue Dove like out on stage. It was very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put some pictures up so you guys can see it. It was, it was fabulous. You know, just get here, wait in line. They have several shows. It lasts about about 35, 30, 35 to 40 minutes, and it's just a fantastic show. I, I mean, I really enjoyed it. It was my first time there, and the background is all digital, and I understand that's new. So, you know, they did change it. It is a new show, and it's 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 a great one, guys. So, all right. So let's see what else we can do. Well, we're over here at Coasters. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try the Happy Tidings Turkey Burger with Cranberry. Yum. All right, for our next meal, we're gonna get the the turkey sandwich with the mashers with um, cranberry sauce. Oh boy, and it's a turkey burger. And this is over at Coasters. I believe it runs about $14, but it is on the meal plan. Look at the size of that, guys. Thing's huge, and it also comes with a side. You can either get fries, or now you can get onion rings. So we've we voted to get onion rings. I have Crash here with me, and he's sitting on the other side. He says it's delicious. I think he says he recommends it too, highly. All right, I'm gonna brave this, guys. All right, there it is, upside down. Let's take our first bite. Wow. That right there was a good first bite. I got mine fresh. They had to make mine fresh. So the turkey patty is hot very seasoned it's seasoned very well i haven't gotten to the cranberry yet but i'm getting to that and the mashed potatoes oh, oh my god that is so good i love knots's mashed potatoes they are so good so flavorful okay i'm gonna try taking that okay you're gonna have to get a ton of napkins because this thing is messy take one more bite here go off to the side here get some cranberry Nah, it's really good. I'm giving this a five out of five cues. This is delicious. The bun is nice, soft. It's got this like little weird cap to it. Not necessarily a crunch, but it's soft to where you can kind of get into it. Hard to describe, but everything blends really well. This is excellent. This is way better than the holiday ham slider for a, hol for a festival of the holidays. This is way better than that. So, you have a chance. Come to Nosbury Farm. Go to Coasters. Get this sandwich. It is to die for. I don't say that lightly. It is to die for. All right, guys. On to the next review. All right, hanging out with my bud here, Crash Zero. We just went to Coasters and had probably the best meal so far in our day. Uh, I mean, the turkey bites are fine, but you know what? That turkey burger with the mashers and the cranberry sauce with the gravy on a brioche bun at Coasters was fantastic. That was oh, was so good. And you get a side. You could choose either fries or onion rings. I suggest the onion rings only because, as Crash stated, it'd be too much potato. <laughs> it would, yeah. That's it. Like potatoes and potatoes. Yes. So we just got done. I mean, I wanted another one, but it won't fit. I, I think that's probably going to be my last meal of the day because it was really good. Very good. Very filling. It was good. 
So right now we're gonna head out to the Christmas tree and see the lighting. And then we're gonna go into Ghost Town to see the snow and the light yes. show. And then uh, me personally, I'm gonna hit it after that. And then uh, Crash is probably gonna hang out until closing. Yeah, maybe. But he might be here longer because sometimes he loses his car. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to put that in because almost every video he's showing, I can't find my car. No, oh, but in a minute. But I parked in the good parking spot today, though. Yeah, yeah. So, because uh, he was here at rope drop, I yeah. wasn't. So, I'm in the bad parking lot. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go see the Christmas stuff. Just a season, but a feeling. It is love and kindness. It is charity and mercy. It is the tenderness for the past, the courage for the present, and the hope for the future. Like the star that shone above Bethlehem, announcing the light of the world, let the spirit of Christmas always and forever shine brightly within our hearts. Look at the fountain, guys, all lit up. 
That's just incredible. Everything all around. Very nice. And even the Christmas tree made out of surfboards. Very cool. I'm going to be going. Crash is going to be staying. He's going to be finishing up some filming here. So I had a great time. It was fun, it, it was fun hanging out with everybody. Yes. Crash especially. Um, and you know what? Um, some of the food that we had was good. You know, there was a hit. There was a couple. There was a couple of hits, and there was a couple of misses. The cold waffle. Yeah, the cold waffle was bad. Um, we didn't film that one because, well, you can watch the funnel cake vlog on that one. Uh, I'll leave a link down below because he's probably going to have his video up before I even get home. <laughs> the, the guy's incredible. He just he just works so fast. Yes. So I, I, every time he's walking somewhere, I think he's like editing, editing his video. video. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Crash and I, well, we just take our time with it. We did, but we ate a lot. Yeah, we we, we, we did lot. eat a lot. We did. Um, that turkey burger that was, was out of this world. That's at Coasters, guys. So. Uh, I recommend that highly. I know Crash does. That was a um, nail in the coffin right there. I, I'm sure, like, every time he comes here, he's probably going to get one of those. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. It is a lot. It is yeah. a lot. All right. All right, dude. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, man. Yeah. And uh, I'm on my way out until the next time when I take you to another wicked place. Have a good night, guys. Talking to themselves in the camera, yes. Yeah, yep. pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Everybody's talking. Everybody's look. Talking to themselves. <laughs> look. And we're all saying the exact same thing, and you can watch exactly. all the videos all at one time. Yes. Like Vinny that's right. Right. Don't Every watch a Christmas story. Christmas on HBO Max. Everything's scripted. Everything. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's all Randy's fault. I started a Christmas story Christmas fault. last night and fell asleep when I got home. <laughs> <laughs>